Hi guys, I wanted to share with you my window display for Halloween that I'm doing. Um, I have this huge picture window in front of my house. There's my cat. And every now and then for Halloween, I do a display. Be patient with my moving around and everything. So a lot of these glasswares, like I got from a secondhand store, like this, and I actually made this bottle a Halloween project. I'll share with you that in another video too. Um, this sign here I got from Joann's. Love it. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Yeah, you can see it better. Huge Harry Potter fan. Um, as a matter of fact, this is Snape's wand right here from Harry Potter. We have several other ones as well, but I thought that one fit more with the theme that I was going. Um, these files here, I don't remember where I got them, but I've just filled them up with random stuff, leaves, feathers, things like that. I also made this holder a while back as well, and I thought it was perfect for that. Um, we're going to be having a cauldron glowing and bubbling tonight, and I will do a second part of this video and show you that when everything is finished and complete and up and working. Okay, let's see what else. These bottles here that are really cute. They go with it, all the colored ones. This I also found in a secondhand store. Let's see it. It's kind of dark in here, guys. Sorry, the lighting. Um, I slapped a label on it. it. Has a hole in the bottom, which is really weird for this glass, but I'm going to stick a candle, one of those um, electric candles underneath so it won't blow out and it will light the bottom bottle up from underneath. There's the candle right there. That's really cool. And this I actually got from a secondhand store too. This, oops, sorry. This was really neat and I bought this light um, from the Dollar Tree to stick in it. It's really pretty. This book here I made a few years ago. Um, just a regular book that I, you know, used coffee to stain the pages and I'll show you that in another video too, more in de detail. Um, some books I also picked up from the secondhand store. These glasswares too. This lamp, couldn't believe it, was under $3. So pretty. Um, I made this um, little quill here. It was just a feather and I stuck a um, part of a pen at the end of it and colored it black and it really does write. Um, let's see. This picture will be going up behind it. It's one of those that shifts. I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. Bear with me. Shifts like that. And I also have um, this Soji screen that's going to go behind it and I want to um, put a black cloth over it as well so it, it hides and kind of protects the rest of my house for people not being able to see it. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Come with me here. Let's see. You know, the floor here. Sorry guys, bear with me a minute. Virginia. This sign I also made a few years back just out of an old picture frame. And then all like the black swirls, those were actually die cuts that I bought off of eBay. Like before I had my own die machine, I was buying die cuts from other ladies um, from eBay. And so I got those from that. And then I just used a white um, paint pen and did the lettering. <clears throat> and that will also hang up on the Soji screen behind everything. So that's it for now, but um, stay tuned for part two. I um, hope you guys come back and see my final product. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.